that one's gonna be a pain. Careful. <laughs> oh, what could it be? I hope we're strong enough to take that monster on. Stay on guard, everyone. That's no ordinary foe. Careful! This... I'll handle it. Time to retreat. Bye-bye. We're strong enough to take that monster on. There's another elevator. <sighs> that must lead us to the castle's highest point, the Vermilion Throne. What should we do? The only thing we can do. This marks the end of our investigation. We can't go onward with just us, though. We need to call the others. Class Seven's only truly complete when all of us are together. It wouldn't be right to have them wait downstairs while we finish things up. Of course. Agreed. We've come this far together. We need to finish together, too. No matter the outcome, our journey ends here. Let's make sure we have no regrets. <laughs> well, just make sure you're completely ready before stepping onto it. He really came. Welcome all to our tale's grand finale. We're here, Crow. 
Hard to believe it's been less than three weeks since we last met. <laughs> You're telling me. You all look so grown up now. All those ordeals you put yourself through have paid off in spades. That's certainly one way to look at it. As much as I hate to admit it, I doubt we could win against you otherwise. The trials we faced brought us together and made us stronger. I couldn't be more pleased with what we had to do to come this far. I was finally able to move forward too, so yeah. I like to think I grew up a bit. <laughs> a lot of stuff's changed, but you guys ain't one of them. And that's not all. We're here on behalf of Toa, Angelica, and George. I promised them I'd bring you back and force you to graduate with them. And it's a promise I intend to keep. Oh man, give me a break. You're telling me you've done all that and it still hasn't dawned on you. Get it through your fixed skull, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's not true, Crow. Those who are confronted with impossible odds can choose to react in one of two ways. Abandon hope and accept a pitiful fate, or cling to that hope and forge ahead, overcoming any and all that life throws their way. That's what it means to dream. <laughs> Vida. She's absolutely right. Maybe we are just young and naive. But if anything, I feel that it was our youth and naivete that allowed us to come this far to begin with. And we've done it without losing a single member along the way, carrying the hopes of everyone we've met with us. I'd say that's pretty amazing, wouldn't you? And for that, I don't see any harm in dreaming of the tomorrow that we all want to come. No one can say that the chances of it happening are zero after all. And all things considered, I'm in something of a difficult position as well, so I sincerely hope you don't think yourself some special snowflake compared to the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, join the club! My background's all weird too, so spit it out! Tell us what you really want. You can deal with all the crappy stuff later. Honestly. <laughs> you may have joined the Academy to stop people from working out your true identity, sure. But you made a big mistake by letting yourself get wrapped up with a bunch of softies like Class 7. Yeah, no kidding. You guys would haunt me to the ends of the earth, wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> My, what a touching spectacle. You work tirelessly to pursue the impossible together. You lose yourself in the passion of the moment. Innocence truly is the privilege of the young. Duke Cayenne. Oh, that's His Highness the Crown Prince. He's been blindfolded. Have you no shame? And what's that huge red thing behind him? That's the Vermilion Knight, Testarossa. It was sealed away under the capital a long time ago, and it was responsible for countless calamities. It's often referred to as the demon which wields a thousand weapons. And to expand on what Emma said, the ones who supposedly sealed it away were Dreykel's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden. Ha <laughs> ha! It certainly was. And the only ones capable of rousing it from its slumber are descendants of the Honor Bloodline. Thus, why His Highness has so graciously chosen to cooperate with us. <sighs> Duke Cayenne, surely you realize how utterly disrespectful you are being. I have a little dream of my own, you see. A dream my ancestor was unable to reach in his lifetime. One that I will make a reality in his place. A dream? What ancestor? Wait, was this ancestor alive during the War of the Lions? Precisely! Emperor Orthros Rice Arnor, born to the first of the Emperor's secondary wives, the daughter of a duke. He occupied Heimdall at the time of the War of the Lions, but fell to Dreykels and became known as the False Emperor. And I inherit his blood. 
possible. I had no idea that the Kayan family were descendants of the False Emperor. <laughs> Hardly a surprise. When the war came to a close, that truth was buried. I suppose it was Emperor Dracul's way of trying to avoid any further conflict among the nobles. But not a day, not one day in all these years has my family forgotten the sheer humiliation. And so I dreamed of a future where I would take back the Vermilion Knight and this infernal castle. The proofs of ownership over this city that Emperor Orthros had disgracefully stripped away. That's all? You occupied Heimdall and started a civil war and that's your reason? Well, the Chancellor's death was desirable regardless, and the Society's diva provided invaluable assistance. The Imperial Liberation Front proved to be serviceable pawns. The Azure Awakener managed to awaken his knight. The time was right in all regards. Only a fool would idly watch this moment pass. I did intend to operate the Vermilion Knight myself, but as I feared, only those of direct descent are capable of doing so. And yet it matters not. I have everything I need to return this city to its original, rightful form, as His Highness's guardian. Once my will is done, I shall restore order to Erebonia, returning it to the way it once was and always should have been. That is my ambition. My family's destiny! What nonsense! He doesn't care about anyone but himself. I'm afraid I can't even pretend to care about your ambitions. It's not my place to decide how Erebonia should be run, and I'm not here to lecture you on your ancestors' transgressions. Oh? We have our own ambitions. We're here because we promised Princess Alvin and Prince Oliver that we would rescue their brother from your clutches. And if putting a stop to your dream is what it takes to save His Highness the Crown Prince, then that's exactly what we'll do. You impudent little... <sighs> I think everyone has said their piece now. You won't be going back on your word to let us handle this part, right? Huh. <laughs> Do as you wish. It should provide some light entertainment until the ritual is complete. I expect to be amused. We could skip right to using our knights, but might as well savor the moment while we still can. So for the opening act, I'll fight you as I am now. Crow versus Class 7. Crow. <laughs> Very well. And I'll be fighting alongside him. Seeing as how you have the famed purple lightning with you, it wouldn't be much of a fair fight otherwise. Aw, you flatter me. Sadly, I trust your idea of a fair fight about as much as I trust me missing a point-blank shot. <laughs> oh, do excuse me. Emma? I want you to fight with everything you have. We'll see whether you have the resolve necessary to shoulder a witch's burden. Don't worry, I will. Not because of the duty I've been given, but to demonstrate the limitless potential I've found within myself. As the last remaining member and leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, I'm gonna make our very last fight one to remember. And as the one tasked with guiding you to the end, I think it's time I did just that. A combat link? They can do that? It makes no difference to us. Class 7, ready yourselves, because combat link or not, I know we'll triumph. Right! right. right. This is it! Come at me with all you've got! Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss. Okay.
Here I go. I can do this. How about this? Blaze! Dance for me! Too slow! My turn. Here I go! Leave ignorance and light the way. You're done! Too slow! Sit. Too slow! My turn! My turn! You're finished. Full speed ahead.
By emotion, fury, misery, agony, enmity. Behold the abyss, for it longs to be forever at your side. I was a strong enough. No problem. Let's go. Thanks. Will this work? <coughs> oh, Should've been paying attention. This is it! Come at me with all you've got! Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> How would this feel, I wonder? <coughs> right! How about this? Here I go. and like the way. Go. 
leave ignorance and light the way. This is it! Come at me with all you've got! Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss. Blades. You're wide open. You're done! I'll handle it. Here I go! I can do this! Sorry, would you mind? Alright, let's get this started! I'm gonna slice you up! Leave this to me! No escape! You're wide open. You're done. How about this? I'll handle it. Near finish. Full speed ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Predictable. Oh. Blow them away. It's not over yet.
done! I wasn't strong enough. It's not over yet. You have my thanks. There! Help me out, Vita! Very well! I wasn't in paying attention. No, you don't! So did it! No, you don't! Okay! Thanks. Okay. Good. Too slow. Leave it to me. You have my thanks. <laughs> I'll handle it. Let's move. Leave ignorance and wipe away. Termination slash. Okay. Thanks! Okay. I 
I'll leave this to you. I'll try at least. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. Thanks. Ha! Leave it to me. Resign! 
rubbish on me. Here we go. Can you handle this? With pleasure. Oh, wins. Power with bravery. Complaints here. Oh my. I didn't see this coming. <sighs> What'd I tell you? Don't underestimate my classmates. They're a tough crowd for being all dreams and sunshine. <laughs> so they are. Crow. Vita. Ah, enough of this nonsense! I need not remind you how if you were to lose against them, our contract would- Butt out, you. I- I beg your pardon? All right, let's wrap this up. This is it, Reen. You ready for the finale? Ready? I was waiting on you. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! It's a battle between Awakeners. None should interfere. She's right. All we can do is watch. <sighs> It's frustrating to be unable to help. But if we must... We'll just have to put our trust in Reen. Is that the sword you forged from Zemirian Ore? Pretty impressive. Guess I don't have to hold back anymore. <sighs> hmm? What, you getting cold feet or something? Yeah, I think I am. Regardless of whether I win or I lose, this is the end. And I can't help but get this nagging feeling like things will never be the same between us after this. I'm afraid. 
afraid of. Don't act so spoiled! The future you want is only gonna happen by making the most of the present. Whatever happened to dragging me back to the Academy and forcing me to graduate? <sighs> You're right. This time, I'm not going to hold back. This isn't a fight for this nation's future. It's got nothing to do with our classmates. This is a fight for me. Right now, all that matters to me is surpassing you. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Divine Knights are all about power, pure and simple. You shouldn't have to think about your feelings. They should just be a part of you. And just as a blacksmith pours his soul into forging a stronger sword, you should use those feelings to strengthen your resolve. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. That's exactly how I want it to be. We'll fight until we can fight no more. Until our strength runs dry and our souls burn out! Leave 
Fight in the way.